This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about celebration. Because today is the 50th episode of Painting Spirit that I've done. It looks like I'm going to probably work on an abstraction. I was trying to get something else coming up, but I didn't have the time to do it. Anyway, so last week, I on Friday, I talked about steps for my subject. And when I posted it on my personal Facebook page, I wrote a quote by Latzu, um saying a thousand miles, a journey of a thousand miles begins beneath one's feet. And right after I posted that, I scrolled down one and saw a post of a memory, you know, a Facebook memory being shared, which I pretty much ignore those most of the time. This time it grabbed my attention because it was the first video I did exactly a year ago that Friday, a year ago that Friday and it was a pretty cool thing to just have that experience of you know coming up with this topic of steps and then having something pop up like that that just showed me <laughs> what it was that I posted and it actually brought up tears in me and I got to I took a, a took a pause for a moment and I looked at what why am I why do I have tears coming up right now and really what I saw is that it was about doubts that I actually had my ability to be able to do this and I know it was a challenge for me to decide to do these with myself talking during them. And my friend, Ron Maurer, suggested that I do it while talking. And it took me quite a while to actually get up to the nerve to, to finally decide to do that. But... I feel like he was probably right on with his observation. I'm enjoying this now. Feels a little more like I'm connecting with people. Even though the conversation's a little one-sided, of course. <laughs> anyway, so I'm talking about celebration today. I'm just playing with colors and seeing what happens. And the kind of celebration that I'm interested in talking about is, well, like this morning I, I feed our dog and our cat. Our cat comes into the bed and reaches out her little paw and taps me on the, the face. Actually, before it's time for me to get up, And then when I actually, let's see here, what can we get going on with this? Wow, that was intense. Intense blue there. Let's see here. So our dog is, I think she's about 16 now. 16 years old, and I'm not sure what the dog years are, but I'm pretty sure that's fairly old for a dog, especially a small breed like her. She's a rat terrier, and still every morning <laughs> when it's time to get her food, she jumps up and down and kind of twirls around and 
and she doesn't have the same physical agility she had, but she still does it anyway with the same, the exact same amount of enthusiasm. And that's the kind of celebration that I would like to focus on. This is the kind that is built in, like she has. Not the kind that necessarily I had when I had this doubt kind of release out of me. And that's what it was in my tears. And, you know, there was another aspect to it. It was just uh, the whole thing of that post showing up kind of unexpectedly. So there's a, an aspect of enjoying that that showed up because it was something unexpected. And a lot of times celebration has to do with having high expectations and then meeting those expectations and there's a lot of relief in it. And I told you I've, I watch MMA every now and then, not as much as I used to, but a lot of times those fighters, when they actually win, will break down in tears. A lot of, a lot of stress, I'm sure, goes into those fights. But there's another kind of celebration at I think Ginny shows me, and it's that kind that I just said is built in. It's the kind that is there all the time, and really when we're celebrating even like a holiday or something, that's kind of what's happening, I think, is we're giving ourselves permission to allow something inside of us to come through that's been wanting to come through or feels good to come through. And I think we can bring that kind of celebration to everything in life. It doesn't have to be a win or a loss or a high expectation. With these painting, spirit paintings, I've said that, you know, I, I look at these and I go, geez, these are really quite nice little paintings. And I, you know, I've said before that, you know, I've worked on paintings sometimes for years that don't have the, the freshness and aliveness and the exploration of color that these little paintings have. It's kind of nice there, bring in some bright reds there. I'm going to darken that. Oh. So my black is seems like black tends to dry up quick on my palette. Anyway, I think that's enough about celebration. I think you get where I'm going with that. Looking for the celebration that is inside of you. It's always there. Bring that to your creative, your creative expression, whether it's painting or whatever you choose to express creatively throughout your day. That expression could just be a opening the door for somebody at the grocery store or kind smile. I'm gonna kind of see what I can do with some muddiness there. Let's see here, I'm really just wanting to Explore these colors a little bit.
think it's time for a trusty spatula. A lot of times with these paintings, they get so thick that you can't really do a lot with some of the colors because they get muddy. So removing some and opening that space underneath. Gonna bring in some white there. A lot of times with color. having one color in an area can really pop things out like that yellow there maybe I don't want to repeat it over here but I want to bring in something kind of similar there oh that orange it was just enough really don't need to do a whole lot more with that that little shadow underneath there's kind of cool I'll get some darks in here I don't know where. You know, a different way of handling the, the paint too, just a light touch. Add some variety to. So now I got those darks. Let's see what they are hidden underneath. They're bringing in some whites to them. So looks like I'm celebrating today by just chilling out with this painting. And I wanted to be able to announce something that I've been working on, but I haven't quite got there yet. So just bear with me. I will be announcing it shortly, I'm sure. See how that's just uh, laying on top of the, the paint that I put on there. Just a light touch. Add some variety. Maybe I want to even go back in on top of that. Just have fun finding that joy within, that celebration within. Get out your brushes. See what you can find, whatever it might be. Just remember that celebration is always inside of you. Just give yourself permission to allow it to flow. Well, that was kind of a fun little, little painting today. Change that just a little bit. So thank you for joining me on my 50th episode celebration. And as I keep saying, get out your own brushes and we'll see you tomorrow.